Now, we're back in the workshop, and before we start on our new project, which is going to be this thingy here, and I'm going to show you how I arrived at this point, and everything I did to get there, there are a few things I want to explain to you first. So we're going to start right from the beginning of this series, right from choosing your boat, understanding the plans, lofting and laying off, sharpening your tools, how to use your tools, all of this sort of stuff. We're going to explain it all, and we're going to start with a good book. Now, as an amateur boat builder, you should always have as many books on the subject as you can. Now, before I went professional and actually worked in boatyards and stuff, I had amassed a fair collection of books, but there were two that really are the best. Now, one of them is Chappelle's book on boat building. I'm not sure Louis Swazeddy had backed me up on that one. It's a brilliant book, uh, written back in the 1920s. Really the, the Bible of boat building, from a professional level and amateur. And the other one is this here. This is John Gardner's book. Now, John Gardner um, was a boat builder for nigh on 80, 90 years. And... To quote Wooden Boat, I believe Gardner's work has engaged and inspired more individuals connected with traditional small craft than will ever be counted. So he is the modern day Chappelle. And this book covers absolutely everything there is to cover, really. And uh, I'll use this to go through a few things with you and explain a few things and tell you how I arrived at the decision I did for making this thingy. Now, as we look at this book, you'll see there are lots and lots of plans. So this one's for a Charleston bateau, um, commonly known in this country as a punt. Um, and there's lots and lots of information there. Uh, lots of diagrams and all sorts of plans and offsets, tables of offsets and all sorts of things. And you're sitting there thinking to yourself, well, how do I actually use this stuff what do all these lines mean what do all these numbers mean and and how do you build a boat from just this tiny tiny little block here of numbers well we're going to explain it to you but before i do that i need to explain to you how all these figures and numbers and lines and things that look really confusing actually come together to make a boat plan now as if by magic the mould and stations are all erected and I've put some battens around them. In order to explain to you how plans work and are made and stuff, I wanted to show you a image of what the boat is and what parts constitute the mould and the frames and the station. Um, and so basically on the boat plan you'll see vertical lines and these are stations. These stations are made into moulds which are basically the bits of wood you bend your planks around to create the shape of the boat. Now these aren't part of the boat itself these are a building jig essentially that's left behind when the when the form of the boat is lifted off so a station and a mould are the same thing but they're indicated by vertical lines and when you build one you have to make one edge of this the station line it's only a fraction of a millimeter wide so i've decided to use this face this face this face this face and on this last one i've used the back face now the transom and the bow transom because we're not having a stem haven't been fitted yet so uh, this is just a basic shape now on this plan you can see that we've got some vertical lines here and here and here and here and this is the view from above the boat up to the center line and this is the view from the side of the boat and this is the view if you'd cut the boat into sections at every one of these lines and they're just stacked on top of each other to give you a view of what it looks like now this little magic box of numbers is called the table of offsets and it contains all the information we need to plot these plans full size on a sheet of plywood so we can use them to make patterns and parts for the boat. Join us next week where we go through the whole process 
of understanding and learning how to use a table of offsets and how we can plot the information contained onto a sheet of plywood where we can actually use the information and transfer it to a full-size mould and actually start to build a boat.